this is a microscopic section of the liver and um, we can see that at low power magnification there are alternating paler areas and darker pink areas. Uh, let's zoom in to find out what's going on. So if you look at this, um, there is actually a portal tract in the center of this darker pink region. How do I know it's a portal tract? It has the portal vein, it has a bowel duct and it has a hepatic artery branch. So there's also some mesenchymal tissue, connected tissue around this and this together makes up the portal tract. Around this, they're actually quite normal trabeculae of hepatocytes. Uh, we can see that the cells are polygonal, uh, they have quite dense granular pink cytoplasm and relatively small rounded nuclei. Now let's zoom out and look at a pale area. So just adjacent to this, for example over here, there is a pale area. And the reason why it is pale is because there are many of these empty appearing rounded holes. Now these holes actually uh, used to contain lipid and they are located within individual hepatocytes. For example, you can see here that this specific hepatocyte is expanded by this rounded lipid vacuole. The lipid usually washes out uh, during processing of the slides because we use some fat solvents. So what we see is this remaining empty space and it pushes the nucleus of the hepatocyte and the rest of the cytoplasm to the periphery. And this is the reason for this pale area. So what we are seeing is actually a fatty change or steatosis. And this is one of the responses of uh, cells to some sort of uh, metabolic stress. We can see this in alcohol abuse uh, because alcohol affects the metabolism of lipids. We can also see this in obesity as well as diabetes and other conditions. So in order for you to understand why lipid accumulates in the hepatocytes, you have to understand how lipid is metabolized by hepatocytes. So you can go and um, refresh yourselves on how lipids enter the hepatocytes, how fatty acids are metabolized into triglycerides, and how they actually leave the hepatocytes. So often uh, the abnormality lies in too much fatty acids entering the liver cells, or too little fat leaving the hepatocytes in the form of apolipoproteins. Now again, I also want you to think about why this occurs in the centrilobular region and how do you think this uh, liver will look grossly. If there is a fatty change in most of the hepatocytes, what we will get is usually an enlarged liver because you can also see how the um, lipid actually enlarges individual hepatocytes. And we may also see a change in color, quite a diffuse sort of yellowish um, discoloration of the liver that is due to lipid accumulation. Clinically, the patients may not present, they may be asymptomatic. Uh, what we would see on clinical examination is potentially if the liver is enlarged, it could become palpable. So this is fatty change in the liver. It is lipid accumulation within the hepatocytes due to some sorts of stresses or metabolic derangements.